Hello everybody and welcome back to the very first episode of the Project Cars 2 information show. So in today's video guys, uh, I'm going to be giving you a brief description quickly of Project Cars 2 and what we can expect, uh, just with a few things such as licensed cars and tracks, and, and then I'll be doing a whole load of uh, extra videos as well, breaking down each of these points down and uh, going into them in a hell of a lot more detail. So before we get started in today's video guys, I do have a little bit of news to tell you guys, and that is that I have recently launched a sub-channel of my own, uh, which will be based around the playthroughs uh, and walkthroughs of popular games that I make videos on. Uh, on this channel uh, and some other games as well. So far uh, I'm currently doing GTA 4 backwards compatibility uh, with the, uh, the Lost and Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony as it is available on Xbox One now through backwards compatibility. Uh, I'm also doing Far Cry 4 and Sniper Elite 4 uh, and I will be starting a Project Cars playthrough also next week hopefully as this is now available also on Xbox One. If you wish to keep even more up to date with me on YouTube then head over onto that channel, the link will be in the description. Alternatively it is also on my Twitter page uh, which is also linked down below and also on my featured channels list on my actual channel. So let's go over to that channel guys and smash that subscribe button, it would be very much appreciated. I will also be doing giveaways there in a few, uh, in a few days and also in the near future over on that channel. So let's get into Project Cars 2. So uh, following a few weeks ago we had a leaks trailer and then an, an announcement trailer, Slightly Mad Studios has officially announced new details about Project Cars 2, which is obviously the sequel to the hardcore simulation game Project Cars 1. Confirmed for release in late 2017 across Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC, Project Cars 2 will include more than 170 licensed cars from the most iconic brands, including ones missing from the actual original game uh, like Ferrari, Lamborghini and Porsche. Vehicles like the Aston Martin Vulcan, Acura NSX, McLaren 650S and the Mercedes AMG GTR, to name a few, have all been confirmed. Slightly Mad also claims that Project Cars 2 will feature the largest track roster ever seen on a console racing game with more than 60 circuits for players to discover. All of this can also be experienced in virtual reality with full VR support and 5 to 1 positional audio. There's also the ability to play in resolutions up to 12k on PC, providing you have the rig that can handle that kind of performance as well as support for high dynamic range. Uh, the game director Stephen, I think it's Viz Villon, I really can't pronounce that surname, so Stephen, uh, the game director for Slightly Mad Studios, uh, says that their collective goal is to create a simulation racing experience that rivals that of real life. Realism and authenticity are central to their development uh, for Project Cars 2. Hence, while they're making sure they employ the best professional drivers, game developers, artists and sound engineers to realise their vision for a game that takes players on the ultimate driver journey. Project Cars 2 boasts a full 24-hour weather cycle which changes atmospheric conditions as you race. This can alter tracks to be either wet or dry, transitioning between night and day times. The press release issued by the publisher Bandai Namco mentions a new Live Track 3.0 system, which I'll get into in another video, uh, but this basically dynamically varies the road surface conditions to affect vehicle performance, grip, and handling in real time across tarmac, dirt, and even... Now, the full 24-hour cycle also recreates the atmospheric conditions and ambience of a specific time of year, as well as the real-world temperature changes across all four seasons. There's also a wide variety of motorsports in Project Cars 2, including Rallycross and IndyCar, now, as well as several classes including GT and Touring Cars, Endurance Prototypes and Exotic Hypercars with much more to be announced. So players can get in whatever they desire across varying track surfaces and dynamic environmental conditions, including ice, tarmac, gravel, mud or dirt, day or night, wet or dry. Slightly Mad Studios boasts the game uses precision handling and physics for true simulation across whichever surface you choose to drive on. In addition, the game will also continue to emphasise its focus on esports, new online championship mode and intelligent matchmaking to find players of similar skill. While the announcement states that Project Cars 2 will launch in late 2017, Slightly Mad CEO Ian Bell previously said the game will arrive mid-September-ish. I'll be sure to keep you updated with the Project Cars 2 information coming within the next few months leading up to the launch. But until then guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.